Welcome back people, we got some Bassmaster Fishing 2022 we are playing on PS4. So this game came out on the 28th. Unfortunately on the 28th I didn't manage to actually play it just because I've been very very busy this month. This has definitely been our busiest month of putting out new games we have ever been. Me and Big Man have been, yeah, we've had our work cut out. <laughs> so if you are new don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out for new updates on this game. And obviously lots of other new games as well. We do lots of types of different gaming on the channel. So that's a good reason to hit that subscribe button. To start off with this game when you very first start off. You have to sign in. So you have to create a password. Um, type in your email. If you've already signed in. And you've already created an account. You don't have to do that. But I had to register it. So I didn't show that part. But apart from um, creating an account. Now this is where we are. So I'm going to. I've never played this before. But um, we do play a lot of fishing games on the channel anyway. But I wanted to, yeah, I wanted to try this one out just to see what this one is like. I have no, what, what's even? Okay, that's locked. Um, I, 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 I don't. Okay, I'm just gonna press skip. I was pressing X. I press circle. We skip. So yeah, never played this before. New game. Hasn't been out long. Um, we'll see what it's like, I guess. Let's check it out. Uh, let's go to continue. Okay, so we're here to create our character. Oh, you have to press X. Okay, there you go. Uh, <laughs> to be honest, I'm not really too bothered what they look like. Let's just go to confirm. I'm not too I'm not too bothered about customizing your player too much to be honest. Um, so select play. Okay, we have to do start the tutorial. So we might as well do that. Let's do that then. So apparently this game is um, it's meant to be really massive uh, for multiplayer. Like there's meant to be an insane amount of people that can get on the same server. At least that's what I heard. Whether that actually Welcome is to the Dovetail case, we Games don't know. Bassmaster Fishing 2022, the official video game of bass, where you can experience the exhilaration of competitive bass fishing. Okay. Right. Cool. We're in our boat. Now that you're in your boat, have a look around and get comfortable. This boat will soon feel like your second home. The picture quality looks really good. So just to mention, obviously, I I do have Big Man in my ear. Um, on PlayStation, we, we're in a share play, so um, if you hear me randomly talking to people, I haven't quite lost my bunkers just yet. Alright, so R2 to drive. Oh wow, bigs. This does look good. Hey, you look like a pro already behind the wheel of that boat. Nice work. Wow, Let's look find at the picture spot quality. Where the bass are gonna be and start fishing. Okay, so, right over there. Move to the waypoint. I am really impressed with the picture quality already, so that's one good thing. Okay. Um, oh, there's another waypoint. A little bit of nitrous would be good. <laughs> I was gonna say it didn't say it didn't show how fast I'm going, but it does. Up there in the top left, 55 miles an hour. to the waypoint. I don't know why it's... I, I'm pretty sure I can figure out how to steer. I don't, <laughs> I don't know why we're doing this. Obviously it's part of the tutorial, but... A little bit strange. But we'll go with it. So this game, just to mention, it is it costs thirty pounds for the standard edition, you can only or get up thirty five for the deluxe. Once your boat has slowed down and come to a stop. Okay, press the switch to fishing, so that's square. This spot looks good. Oh this wow, may be look just at that! The spot you've been looking for. <laughs> when you're ready. Oh, we're gonna have some cast. fun with this. We are gonna definitely have some fun with this. All right, press L two to cast. Hold R2 to increase your casting power. 
There we go. And then release. There we go. You see that thing dangling at oh, the end nice. of your line? It shows you under That's the called a lure. And it's a key bit of equipment to use to attract a fish. A lure can attract a fish at all times, but is far more we know effective this, but... when moving through the water during your retreat. I'll just be quiet there and let him say There are a few different retrieval thing. techniques, but for now, let's start with the basics and perform a consistent retreat. Do this by reeling in at a consistent rate. Retrieval movements mimic how prey and bait move through the water. Combine that with colors and materials of different lures, and you'll impact your chances of getting bites. You can also control how deep some lures move through the water by increasing or decreasing your reel speed. Yep. Okay, so hold L2 to reel in your line. Right now I'm doing kind of stop and go. We'll see how that works. And then after we'll try it constant, like keeping our finger on it. I don't see any fish around. Okay. Don't get no disheartened. Luck. You're not going to get a bite on every retrieve. Yeah. So cast out and retrieve again. Remember, the longer your lure is in the water, the better chance you have of actually getting a bite. Okay, so that was overpowered. So because I overpowered it, it gave me a bad cast. So at least we know we don't want to let it go right up to the top. I don't know if I can change it. So R1 and... There we go. When a fish bites, you want to set the hook in the okay. fish's mouth in order to give you the best chances of not losing that fish during the fight. Do this by performing a strike. A strike is okay. performed by quickly pulling the rod up and away from the fish's location. But the timing of the strike is very important. Perform too early or too late, and you're at risk of losing the fish. But mastering this timing is something you will improve over time with practice. Great. Now it's time to fight the fish. I don't Once know. the hook has been I set in the fish's mouth, it's going to do everything it can and to I get away from both you. Of the sticks. Your job is to make sure you bring it home. Initially, fish will dart, run, or thrash while trying to escape, which is going to put more tension on your line and hook until the fish either breaks free or runs out of energy. <clears throat> but we can combat that by relieving the tension during the fight. Okay. The tension system can be controlled through rod movements, reeling, reel speed, and the drag system, of course, to increase or decrease the line tension as needed. Remember, you're also at risk of losing a fish if the line tension drops too low, which commonly happens once a fish becomes fatigued. So be observant of how the fish is behaving throughout <clears> the fight, <throat> as being able to recognize when and how you need to increase or decrease the pressure during the fish fight will have you catching more fish consistently. So as you reel the fish closer to the boat, it's time to land the fish. If the fish's energy has been fully depleted once it's within grabbing distance, you can automatically land the fish. Otherwise, you can attempt to grab the fish and land the fish early. Grabbing a fish is all about the time. This guy, when initiating good, the grab he action, is helpful, but a wow, he is icon seriously will talking. appear to indicate the timing you need to match to successfully grab and land the fish. Successfully grabbing a fish <laughs> is a great way to land a fish this faster, crazy. which can save you valuable time in a tournament. But it's also very risky, as failing to grab a fish will spook that fish and cause the fight to continue, putting you at risk of losing the fish. Okay. I didn't nice really catch. listen to our word, to be You'll honest. You'll be awarded points and experience for Biting any fish you catch. Trophy. But this little bank runner isn't even the species we came here to target. So let's release it and get back to fishing. So I'll just press X, I guess. Let's okay. try a different equipment setup and see if we have better luck targeting bass. Okay. Your boat is equipped with multiple rods and reels, so you can have many different rods set up and ready to fish at a moment's notice. Open your inventory and let's see the rods we have in this boat. 
Different boats can hold different amounts of rods. The inventory screen shows all rod setups that are stored in this boat. You can see a list of all the rods. Okay, so and we when scroll one with the left analog stick up and down, we can see different ones. It shows the full breakdown of its setups. setups. Yeah. You can select and change any part of the rod setup using equipment you already own, or you can purchase new items and equip them. It's a great idea to have multiple different rod setups ready and waiting for use. That way, you can quickly get your lure back in the water and change okay, your tactics so different lures in a split here. second. We can also buy some. For now, I have already set up another rod. Yeah, oh, yeah, there's definitely Select a Select the second rod, and let's try again. Okay. Select the second rod. How do I select that? Press X. I did press X. <laughs> um, okay, let's press back. Okay, there we go. So if we press the left but the left d-pad button that gives us um, different rods that we can select there okay L2 the sensitivity is definitely a little bit um, a little bit bonkers <laughs> but that could be just in that mode I'm not quite sure what the um, L1 and R1 is about Okay, it says hold to reel it in, so I'm just going to keep my finger on L2. Darn it! Oh, okay, there, don't okay. panic. Hitting I, snag I is just part of the fun of fishing, especially when you're targeting the those longer there, the hiding in the cover. As you can see and feel through your rod movements, your lure has got stuck. <clears throat> and we want to make sure it's free so we can get back to fishing as quickly as possible. By using the combination of rod movement, really, yeah, real speed, and much. adjusting drag, you can dislodge the lure from the snag. But don't go doing it all at the same time, and don't do it too hard. If you snap your line due to too much tension, you will lose your lure and everything. Mm -hmm. If you want to save time, you can simply cut the line and re-rig <clears throat> or swap to another rod. Come on. There you go. Once your lure is free of the snag, get back to fishing and working on your retreat. Okay. Getting snags can be a real pain. Oh, come and on. even if you've successfully freed <laughs> the lure, guess what? You can get snagged again. Yes. That's normally what can happen in fishing. I don't know how I change the camera angle so we see it back under the water again. Oh, that one's messed up. But this is why we risk fishing around snag filled <clears throat> areas. Sure, there's a risk of losing equipment, but the payoff is getting bites of giant fish like this. Okay. Okay, you got this. <laughs> okay, okay. Just like last time. Come on. Let's bring this one home. It's going to take there's some much more talking. effort, though. As there's this too much. Is bigger, I can't stronger, take and it. Even more aggressive. Oh. Come on. It's good because he's telling you what to do, but the hook's slipping. It's good because he tells you what to do, but yeah, he talks a lot, man. Keep your cool. You're getting close now. Remember, you can choose to grab the fish or wait for their stamina to run out to land it. Okay, we lost that, I think. Yeah. They gotta figure out how to I really I should have listened to him, but he was going on too much. There, there was too there's too much. Fish can only be netted when it's tired. Or close enough that you can pull it out of the water. Okay. I don't know why that lit up red there. Well, well, that was um, 
I messed up one. <laughs> L2. There we go. That's better. When I, I when it's in the air, I keep my finger on L2, but it it doesn't reel, so you have to wait until it hits the water. Then once it's in the water, that's when you can then press L2. R2, should I say? Sorry. I think the R2 zooms in a little bit as well. Let me see. Okay, R2. Yeah, it zooms in a little bit. Okay, let's press R1. Nothing. L1. Nothing. Triangle. Nothing. Circle. Okay, circle resets your, resets your rod. That's good to know if you're cast them you don't cast it properly okay square nothing X mm. okay click down the analog the other analog there we go so if we click down on the left analog stick we can see the lure underwater that looks quite fast for a fish <laughs> I don't I don't know if I can uh, I should be able to adjust real speed let me have a look. So L1 and R1, that could be... Oh, there you go. So L, yeah. Okay, so L1 and R1 is, is your real speed. So down on the bottom left there, it says uh, 5. If I press L1, 4, 3, 2, and 1. There we go. Oh, there was a big fish. I think real speed one might be the that might be the one to use I think I'm doing stop and go at the minute all right let's try again cast over this way Yeah, there you go. There's more fish showing up like that. I did mess that cast up though. <laughs> Only a li little bit, just slightly. Why is it doing that? It's not, I don't know, it's not casting right. What? I don't know, is that, is that glitched? I don't know, it could be. Okay, circle, let's try it again. That's definitely glitched, that's got to be glitched. There's a lot of fish around there, but... It's a shame that I'm not actually able to cast there. That looked like a pike there. That probably was. A little bit more. I just don't want to hit the bank. I don't think I'm gonna catch anything like this because it's not in the water long enough. Yeah, we can just press circle straight away. When you mess up your cast, you can just press circle straight away and it resets it, so that's good. I have no idea what that was. There's a lot of fish around there though, I know that much. <clears throat> no. There you go, that's not too bad. There we go. Good strike. I don't know how. 
Okay, I press X there, X again, and X, 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 X. I don't know. <laughs> X, X again. Boom shakalaka! Now that, that there is a lunker for sure. Whew. Great job! There it is. You will get pass. awarded more points and experience based on the size of the fish you land. Two pound twelve ounces. Well, that's all the time we have for fishing today. Let's okay. jump back into the driving seat of this boat and head back to the boat dock. You don't have to worry about how fast you're traveling back now. But it's worth being aware that when you're competing <laughs> under official tournament rules, yeah. you have to return to your initial starting point within a certain time to be officially weighed in and have your score counted. Okay. Failing to arrive back to this point at the assigned time will cause your final score to be deducted based on how late you arrive. Well, you or definitely even worse, take too if long. you arrive too late, you'll be disqualified and score nothing. Oh, wow. Okay. So always keep in mind what time it is and the distance you need to travel when competing. Drive into the assigned area to finish up here. Okay, switch to driving. So we press... Oh, I have to reel that in first. Oh, there we go. We've got another one. X, and then X again. Yes. There you go. That was one pound, 11 ounces. That's definitely a good little fishing spot, that. Okay, so we press square. We just follow, yeah, the waypoint. I wonder if them waypoints are always going to be there. Yeah, help you get back. But then there's probably a way to bring up the map. Maybe if I press the space bar. Yeah. It's not the very, very best, but it's not bad either. It actually looks alright. Fifty-five mile an hour is its top end. The mic's going a bit crackly big for some reason. Your mic is going a bit crackly then. And there we have it a successful fishing trip. I had my doubts at points today, <clears throat> but you pulled through, and I think you got a future. He had his doubts. I know there was a lot of information to cover today, some of which is going to take time to perfect and master. Yeah, Still, uh -huh. you should I be agree. proud of yourself, as what you displayed today are the skills and techniques used by successful pro anglers. Well done. I'm proud of you, and I can't wait to see you on the water next time. Okay. Tutorial has been complete. Alright, so I guess this is everything here in the, at the main menu. It says home up there, so if we go to shop, let's have a quick look at the shop. Okay, that's for the deluxe. Let's go to manage. Loadouts, boats. Yeah, there's a few different boats. Definitely not cheap though. The best master venues. Oh, okay, so you can target certain fish. Pickerel, flathead catfish. Rainbow trout, spotted bass, striped bass, walleye, white bass, white crappie. Mm, let's, let's go with that. Time of day. Can you change the time of day? Possibly. Yeah, you can. 
and weather you can change that as well okay rain we've got to see what it's like on a rainy day um, this is three hours six hours 12 24 okay I don't even yeah we just leave that like that <laughs> okay We press the options button and I think that puts us into it. Yeah, there you go. Start fishing. <clears throat> I have no many I have no idea how many people can be in a lobby or in a in the same in the same lake. I have no clue, but I've heard it is a lot. Oh, the rain effect on the water looks really good. Alright. So there is no markers. We'll have a little drive around. A few fish lighting up there. The rain effect isn't, I don't know, I was expecting to see the rain a bit more, you can only really see it more on the, on the water, but that could be different when it's like this, <clears throat> total cast control, okay, so if we press the left d-pad button, that obviously brings up our rod changes, if we press triangle, that goes to there, and then square obviously is on the boat. What's X? Oh, okay, so we've got the um, trolling motor there. I'm not quite sure how to use it. Oh, there you go. So if you hold your finger on X, if you push up on the D-pad, it's going to make you move forward. Obviously, if we press down, it's going to make us move backwards. And then left and right, yeah. Okay. Probably don't really need really need that, to be honest. The rain effect, it's not as... Yeah, you can see it on the water, but it's not as visible as what I thought it would have been. The sound of it does sound pretty good, and the look of it on top of the water there. That's, uh, yeah, L1 and R1 is to change our reel speed. If we hold L2, that's what reels it in. I don't see many fish around this area, though. Maybe we should move to a different spot. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, we definitely should. Are we snagged? Okay. There you go, we got unsnagged. Okay, let's press square. Let's move. It does look pretty good, Biggs. It's a shame that I can't uh, show you. So, Big Man, we do share play with Big Man, and he does share a lot of games on YouTube. He doesn't have YouTube himself, but he does help out a lot with mine. He's forever buying new games and pre ordering games and stuff, and we always put that on the channel. But he's never been a big fan of fishing. But it was actually his idea about this fishing game. And I'm quite surprised, to be honest, because, yeah, he's not normally he's not normally into fishing games, but he saw this one and he was, he was the one who actually told me about it. So maybe at some point he might get it himself. Maybe I'll first watch this on YouTube and if he likes it, then maybe he might. for it to sink a little bit. <coughs> sort of fish over there. There probably is going to be a better technique other than just reeling and keeping my finger on it. I'm pretty sure there would be. But that works, so kind of kind of going with that for a minute. Ain't really many fish around this area neither. 
and let's move. I don't even know. Don't even know where we went. I have no idea. Does it tell me how deep? Okay, yeah, that was 21 foot. 17. Okay, around here. It's like a little dip. Okay, let me have a look. See if we can see any around. It definitely thinks it's a short minute to sink. Okay, so there you go. I was I was trying to look to see so you can see how deep it is but it's down there on the bottom left so on the top left it shows you it's 17 foot deep and on the bottom down there on the bottom left it it tells you where well, it says 12 12 foot now it says 11 now 10 so that's how deep it is that's what I was wondering I was wondering how deep is that dropping well, there you go there's one there he ain't interested though. So how did I forgot how I space bar there you go for the map. So I wonder if you can you could wonder how far place waypoint. Okay, let's place a waypoint. Okay, so you can say that there's certain fish there. Okay. That's always handy. <coughs> so we, I'm guessing we can probably set markers. Well, we can definitely set waypoints. So when we catch a certain fish and we want to come back to catch that again at some point, we can mark it out so that way we can see where it is. We can get to it quicker. Shame we can't fast travel to a certain spot. Places massive. Don't even know where to go. <laughs> oh wow, there's a lot of fish that came up there. Yeah, let's try here then. Quite a few coming up in the fish finder. See if we didn't drive too far past it. So this is 24 foot here, so this is deeper. So if you can see down there on the bottom left, you can see that it's slowly dropping. Five foot, now six foot, seven foot. Yeah, it definitely takes a short minute. What's the up and down button? Not sure what that does. Can you back reel? No, you can't. I don't think you can. There we go. Finally got down there. 18 foot. Seems really weird to use L2 to to reel, if I'm honest. <laughs> That's a little bit strange, but anyway, yeah. Let me know in the comments section below what you think of the game. And uh, if you're thinking about getting it, make sure you do subscribe so you don't miss out for the next one. I think is what I'm gonna is what I'm better off doing is having a little bit of practice, and um, yeah, just keep on having a little bit of a mess around and getting the hang of it. But we definitely are gonna have more more of this. Why is he? Why is his jacket blurry? Is that is that just me? Am I too tired? No, that's that is it. Yeah, his jacket is like that. For a second then, <laughs> I thought maybe I do, I do actually need to get some sleep. No, <laughs> I don't. Wow, look how much fish is coming up on the fish finder. So you can troll on this then. 
with your boat, so that's pretty good. Oh, oh. I thought it, I honestly thought he was going to come for that. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to end the video there. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out for the next one. Drop a like. If you've got any comments, again, leave them in the comments section below. And I will try and get back to you as quick as I can. If you want to support the channel, we also have memberships. The link for that will be in the description below. We'll catch you people again soon with some more fun and games. I am out.